easy to look at the fixtures, but you concentrate on your unit, the team, and everywhere, all over, all the compartments of the team, solid, good in midfield, pace up top, Wood is a real player to go into that they can rely upon, and they look like they're up for it, they want to be in this Premier League, they don't want to go out again, and tonight they thoroughly deserve their victory. Those four points, they were deducted, they've won them back in four days, full-time at the City ground, Forest three, Fulham one. Well, just have a listen to this crowd. They know just how big that three points is, and they needed it. As Adam just said then, a draw and a win since the four-point deduction. But they deserve that win after a dominant performance here tonight at the City Ground. They blew Fulham away in the first half. A huge three points, and we can hear from the player of the match now. Morgan Gibbs-White is with Danny Jameson. Morgan, huge congratulations. We saw from the celebrations just what that win means for you tonight. Yeah, it was uh, it was absolutely massive for us. Um, like I said in the pre-interview, we finished the second half of the last game good, so we had to go into this game going for it and wanting the three points. And I thought the first half, the boys were absolutely incredible. Um, the way we took our chances, we could have scored more, um, but this, it, this the team shows how resilient we, we, we were. Um, just hats off to them, and yeah, thank you for the fans. They've been absolutely incredible tonight. Where did that first half come from? Because you could have had five or six. Yeah, like I said, we, we were building on uh, last game, second half. Um, we knew we had to come out strong and we've got to start doing that more often uh, because you can see the talent in the squad, you can see what we can do. Um, so we just got to keep building on that and keep improving. Look, you got the goal and the assist in that first half. What did the manager say at half time? To try and continue um, what we did the first half. Um, we were pretty faultless in the, in the first half. So there was nothing much to really critic. Um, we had to just keep going and keep trying to improve. But we, we, we knew Fulham were going to come out fighting, so we had to keep calm and keep, keep together as a team, and we showed that. I was going to ask about that first period of the second half, the first five minutes after they got their goal back. How difficult was that to regain the control? Oh, it was massive for us. Um, we haven't been too, too good when we've been conceding goals recently, but I think today showed how together this team really is. Um, I'm just so proud of the boys and proud of the fans for sticking with us. And we saw it all the way through the game. It felt like you really fed off the supporters, the supporters fed off you as well. Yeah, like I said, they've been absolutely incredible for us. When, when, when we're at home, they, we feel like they're our 13th man. Um, 12th man, sorry. <laughs> um, Probably the 13th as well, to be fair. It classes that, yeah. Um, but no, they've been an absolute credit from the very beginning. Um, and we just ask that they stick with us for the rest of the end of the season. This time last year, you beat Brighton here. That was the start of three straight wins. That was the reason that you stayed up last season. How do you make this the start of that run again? There we go, I can hear you better now. Um, no, like I said, we just have to keep building on our performances. Each week we're getting better and better and better. And I think today just showed, showed how quality our team is. Uh, like I said, we just have to keep improving from there. Very well done, tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it felt like there were 13 men in the first half, certainly, in that Forest team. And look what it meant to him on the full-time whistle.